Shohei Otani is a once in a generation type player. Not only does he have the ability to throw 100 miles per hour on the mound, but he can also play the field and hit. Otani currently leads the league in home runs with 31, and to add to it all, he swiped 12 bags too. Otani is the first player ever to be nominated to the All-Star Game roster as both a pitcher and a hitter. At the beginning of his career, he was compared to a New Age Babe Ruth, but could it be possible that Otani has already proven to be the best two-way player ever? That's exactly what we're going to dive into in today's video. But before we jump into it guys, if you enjoy the content you're seeing on this channel and you want to continue to see more of it, it'd mean a lot if you'd click that subscribe button. I'm a numbers guy, and only about 30% of the people who watch these videos are actually subscribed, so show your support by clicking the subscribe button down below. In order to properly analyze this, we're both going to break down Otani's ability at the plate and his ability on the mound separately, starting with Shohei as a hitter. As I mentioned before, the only player in history that has produced a semi-comparable level of play both on the mound and at the dish would be Babe Ruth. But Babe was only a two-way player for one and a half seasons from 1918 to 1919. We're currently witnessing Otani's fourth consecutive season of doing both. In his career as a hitter, Shohei has a weighted runs created plus of 138, a WOBA of 374, and an OPS of nearly 900. All three of those marks are much above league average. And so far in 2021, he's having the best year of his career, sporting a 177 weighted runs created plus, a 431 WOBA, and over a thousand OPS. He ranks top three among qualified hitters in all three of those major statistics. And to further prove the point that Otani is a dominant hitter, his average exit velocity ranks in the 96th percentile, behind the likes of only a few players, such as Acuna and Vlad Jr. His max exit velocity ranks second, only behind Aaron Judge. His hard hit percentage ranks first among qualified hitters, and his barrel percentage ranks first among any hitters by a large margin, that being 2% higher than the next best hitter, Fernando Tatis Jr. Otani is the MLB leader currently in both home runs and bunch for hits, and he's the first player ever to hit 30 home runs and start 10 games on the mound, and we're only at the All-Star break. His 31 home runs and 12 stolen bases are marks never before reached by an AL player. So not only is he a two-way player, he's one of the league's best hitters while spending half of his time working towards being an MLB caliber pitcher. So let's dive into what Otani has accomplished on the mound. After looking through his stats as a hitter, you'd have to assume that Otani's performance on the mound would suffer. But Shohei does not just walk the walk. Otani's average fastball velocity ranks in the top half of any pitcher in the league, higher than that of Hugh Darvish and others. His K percentage, expected batting average against, and slugging percentage rank nearly in the top 15% of pitchers. And on top of that, he owns one of the most dominant pitches in the big leagues this year, his splitter coming in at a run value of negative seven. It's the second best splitter among any pitchers. And his .08 batting average against is the best of any starting pitcher this season. Otani's whip, ERA, and K per nine is better than any other starting pitchers on the Angels staff this year. And his fastball has been clocked over 100 miles per hour several times since joining the MLB a few seasons ago. It's truly incredible to see an athlete come in and be as special as Shohei has been since entering the league and he's doing it on both sides of the ball. Overall, Shohei Otani is an excellent player, a once in a lifetime type player. And you can tell by watching him that he truly loves the game. When we were all kids growing up, most of us were two-way athletes. But as you move up through more competitive levels of baseball, that is often lost. Several people can criticize and say that Otani could be a better hitter if he'd just focus more time on that or that he could be one of the best pitchers of all time if he'd put all of his effort towards that. But that's not what it's about for him. He's doing this all because he loves the game, the complete game. And when he made the choice to come to America, he made it clear that he wants to do both. And my oh my, he is excelling as both a hitter and a pitcher this season. Thanks for tuning in to today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, please hit that subscribe button. If you want to keep learning more, here's a video and a playlist that I think you'd enjoy checking out. I'll catch you in the next one.